Hello, Barry. Hey, Stuart. How are you doing? It's been a long time since we've been on this channel, isn't it? It feels good. There's so many cobwebs. I'm just doing a bit of um, dusting. It's nice to see you here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't believe we left the light on in the spare room. That's going to cost us a fortune. I understand that we are here for a very special reason. Could it be movie-related? Do you know... It bloody well could be. Oh. We made a bloody film, and it came out the other day, and I'm in it, and Eli's in it, and Barry's in it. I do make a, a cameo in there with a colander bowler hat, which I once reviewed on a previous gadget video, which is actually now 40 quid. Yeah, it's because you broke that one. That was half the world's supply. I really enjoyed your film, Stuart, I must say that. And uh, to be part of it and make a little cameo in it as I did and see how much effort you guys put in was absolutely incredible experience and uh you know to put the movie together you have on a shoestring budget is very proud for me uh, to sort of see that for you and uh, obviously linton who edited barshans and riyadh who helped out on barshans too it's uh yeah it's really good and i i hope everyone has a chance to download it and acquire it from the various links and routes oh well thank you very much barry you knocked it out of the park yeah mate. it's incredible so uh i understand the video uh is something that was shot on, on scene, wasn't it? Yeah, we were about to go into something. So we shot this on set. It was, in fact, um, it was a format come up with by Ryan, a.k.a. Cousin Dan, and it felt very Barshansy as kind of a result. And I'm in it, and you're in it, and Eli's in it, and some guests, effectively, who are sort of the actors from the film as well. So it felt a bit Barshans. I thought, do you know what? We should stick it on the bloody Barshans channel. This this is basically the Barshans Polybius heist crossover Bean Boozle Challenge hashtag. Let's watch people eating horrible beans. Martians. Okay, so I've got five heist film orientated questions. What do you mean orientated? orientated. Are they about heist films or are they yes, just sort of they are. vaguely yes. associated they with heist about films? Heist film. Okay. Okay. I will warn you, Giannis, Barry knows nothing about films. Yeah. <laughs> so Wait, why does that why is that bad for me? Because you're working together. Oh, oh right, okay, all right. Alright. Okay. Right. Okay. Is it not multiple choice or no, 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 brilliant. Not. The idea is if you get a question wrong, you've got to eat a bean. Okay? No, it could be nice, it could be nasty. So yeah. it's best probably to be yep. safe and get the question right, okay? Question one. How many characters have a credit in all of the ocean films? Oh, which characters have been in every single one? Yeah. The thing is with this, sir, is I've seen none of the ocean films. Uh, I've seen films. two. I've seen 11 and yeah, eight. Really just, just get the beans out. We yeah. fucked on the first one, then. Is it including the all-female cast? Yes. It must do, yeah. Shit the beard. I haven't You've seen any of them. just got to guess yeah. the number. So it's someone who... One. One. I don't think there's a single character who's in all of them. That would be zero. Then. I think it's zero. Oh, I'm going to go three. Right. You go three? You I'd like to go two. You go two, we'll go three. Right, it is two. Oh, thank you. I was going to say two. Ruben Tishkov and the amazing Yen. What? Oh, shit, I remember Yen actually in eight. I don't remember Ruben being in eight. He must have been very briefly. Mm. He let me down. Bath or peach? Birthday cake or dirty dishwater? <laughs> what is that? Is it nice? No. Bubble gum that tastes like. Oh yeah, that's birthday cake then. It's not peach. Oh, it tastes like curry. Oh. What is it? What is it? <laughs> it tastes like. It's, I think it's bath. There's an oh, big tang. Oh, and it smells yeah. like you've thrown up as well, mate. Are you yeah. And this is either buttered popcorn or rotten egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's egg. It's egg, isn't it? It just tastes like other. Actually, it tastes like pear. <laughs> the pear is a different colour. But you hate pear as much as that. Yeah. <laughs> How many Academy Awards did the 2010 film Inception win? Ooh. Ooh. That was Ooh. quite a good impression of the noise as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll give you a hint, it got nominated for eight. Oh. It got best special effects. Yeah. How good was Tom Hardy in there? Oh, the Running traps. through the snow. He's got the just traps. What a guy. Oh. Two? Two? Quarter? I so think two. Say, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I'd like two as well. I reckon three. I'll go four. I reckon it's just one. One, two, four. You're right again. What is this? What's happening? Cinematography, sound editing, sound mixing and visual effects. Dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. Lovely. And this will be... A stink bug or a toasted marshmallow? Oh, that's delicious. Nice. That's I've delicious. done all right. Yeah, again. Two, nailed it again. Tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. What did you get? Oh, dear. Dog food, Jumpy. 
toasted marshmallow. <laughs> it was the fish. <laughs> oh man, that's really fishy. <laughs> Do you know, it's not one of the worst flavours, but it's the texture of it. Though. Yeah. That's Quite nice. happy to. Mm. Great. That's the perks of being rubbish at Music Queen. There you yeah. go. Mm. Number three, three or five. Okay. I'm loving these beans, mate. Loving them. <laughs> what is the highest grossing heist film of all time worldwide? Oh, that's a good one. Is Ant Man a heist film or is it a superhero? It's, a superhero film. Film. it's definitely a heist film. What about, film? I think Inception. Unless there was a subplot to Titanic that I missed, I can't really. <laughs> uh, the we'll Sting was a huge film. <laughs> it was a huge film. But do you think a modern one like Inception has made more money? Okay. Conceivably, yeah. I'm going to say Italian job. You say Inception. Wait, Titanic, actually, that, it's a heist to go to the bottom of the sea and, and yes. get the Titanic. Ocean's Eleven massive. Ocean's Eleven. Inception. <laughs> oh, I rock at this. <laughs> Over 825 million. That was a good film, to be fair. I've got a black one, which is either licorice or skunk spray. Do you want to go for that? Yeah. <laughs> skunk spray. <laughs> Why, why are they all horrible? <laughs> For the skunk spray. Oh, that is goldfish. I kind of gold, like it. A dead goldfish. Oh, oh, goldfish. Dead goldfish. Oh. This is really fun, by the way. We have a dog food. Oh, I know. Oh, oh I can smell that from yeah. your mouth, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nobody needs to eat that. Oh. That's disgusting. Oh. No, that's <laughs> too much. It's coconut. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm having my dinner here, this is brilliant. It is the bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty dishwater. Would you describe it as such? Yeah, it's got like a, a fairy liquid, sort of. The things oh. I can do with science nowadays. The yeah. easy one, it's the easy one. <laughs> You're right, mate. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. We God. should never do this. Name, name two of the top build actors in the 2003 remake of The Italian Job. Uh, Mark Wahlberg. Mm -hmm. Edward Norton and... Oh, God, who's the one in, who used to be uh, like a... <laughs> um, Mark, oh, Hogan. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg's in it. Mm -hmm. That's one. And Donald Sutherland's in it. Correct. Ah, oh, Wahlberg and Norton. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes, absolutely. No way. That's amazing. We rock. Correct. Do you eat a bit? No. No. Fuck <laughs> yeah. you. It's my game. No, don't. <laughs> Final question: Which real-life heist recently had two films released about it within the space of eighteen months? I know this one. Okay, this is good. I believe I've been fed. It was the Hatton Garden heist. The Hatton Garden. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Hatton Cross Diamond heist. Correct. Yes. Oh. Well done, guys. So. Thank you. Do you see the clip? Him going, oh, I'm ancient, and my name's Michael Caine. <laughs> Here's some diamonds. Do you remember when I was in that mad song? Fucking so shit. That looked so shit and boring. We're all 70. We drilled through this for two weeks. We've done quite well. You are tied yeah. with uh, Sue and Eli on two. I'll take that. Not bad. Yeah, yeah nice one. And I didn't have to eat a single jelly bean. You missed out, me. No, I did it. I got two delicious ones and some skunk. Well, not the kind of skunk I like. Can I get you guys on set, please? Uh, I haven't had, make I haven't had makeup. Don't say a word. This is our target, the Polybius. Have you ever heard of the Polybius? It's an urban legend. It's just a myth. It's way too dangerous. Ashens. 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 I am a collector of incredibly rare but totally worthless collectibles. Whatever. I'm putting together a crew. I can guess while you're here. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. Let's roll. You can buy Ashens in the Polybius Heist now. Link in the description. It's got a mole in. Not Keith. Just a mole. I don't know if he's got it. It's a live mole. He, he has. He has only one mouth. One mouth. One mouth mole. I hate this jumper. I've got it on backwards. It makes it even worse.
I hate this sweaty jumper. God, I'll be glad when this jumper's burnt. Burnt to a crisp. As soon as this jumper's wrapped, I'm wrapping it. And I don't mean round my head, I mean, I'm, it's uh, over. The jumper's cancelled. But do, buy, buy the film, please. Benny's Comics. Uh, we've got lots of comics like Small Press, uh, Aztec Skull Zombie, uh, and if you're into uh, sex with skulls, there's a lot in that for you. I mean, we, we cater to the adults, and uh, yeah, Space Tentacles got lots of tit in. Sorry, I mean, it's really just porn. Right, so. We covered Aztec skull zombies. This is an excuse for someone to put his penis in a skull. Uh, the heroic age of thunderbolts. Yeah, I don't know. They're just in space or something. They're in space. It crashes. <sighs> Marvel's mute. Good for uh, dyslexics because they don't speak. There's no speech bubbles there. <sighs> Hulk and Wolverine. Six hours. It's hair gel. It's a hair gel advert, really. What's the uh, what's the in-store event on Tuesday at seven? Oh right, we've got the uh, the author of Space Tentacles, Izakumi Harry. They call him. That's not his real name, and he's going to sign anything. So if you have a squid or something, he'll sign that. Uh, a lot of those, a lot of the Space Tentacles people get really too into it. If you ask me, they're like, it's, they smell of fish. I mean, they sm they're just handling tentacles all day. You know what I mean? Wash it off. Scrub off the tentacle stink. He does, Izakumi Harry, he, um, he's a dancer as well, so he'll do a, a tentacle dance uh, with lights on. That's what everyone's really here for. I mean, the tentacle dance with strip tease. So it's tentacle, 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 then at the end, the tentacle falls out. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, by which I mean he goes fully nude and uh, it all flops around. What are the bank holiday opening hours? Bank holiday, you should spend some time with your family, not reading bizarre tentacle porn books, you know? Oh, God. Superman. I mean, stupid, isn't it? How's that gone for so long, Superman? It, it can do anything. Over. Story over. I'm God. The end. You know? Why doesn't he just create a world? Why doesn't he... Oh. Yeah, we close on the bank holidays. Do check out Stuart's film, it's amazing.